As a Catholic, Judge Sotomayor's position on abortion could receive more attention during her confirmation hearings. Traditionally, Catholics have stood shoulder to shoulder with pro-life supporters, but that tradition could be softening. There are a lot of Catholics that say that they're uh, anti-abortion, but they're not. It, they go with the flow of what the people uh, seem to put the pressure on for them, and they don't really have any backbone. About 65 million Americans are Catholic. That makes up roughly one quarter of the country's population. But among that number, only half are practicing Catholics who are solidly anti-abortion. Among the other half, opinions about abortion are mixed. If you look at the, the at practicing Catholics, those, those who go to mass on a regular basis, they, they, have, they are obviously in favor of, of pro-life. They are obviously opposed to the abortion rights agenda. Now, those Catholics who show up at Easter and Christmas and take the seats from the rest of the Catholics in the, in, in the church, these are the people who are okay with abortion. They may not be loving it, but they're certainly not too exercised about it. It appears Sotomayor occasionally goes to church and would be considered by many a non-practicing Catholic. But even among non-practicing Catholics, there is division. Within the non-practicing uh, category, there are those people who are good men and women, but for one reason or another, it could be laziness or whatever, they don't go to church on a regular basis. They are not to be confused with the minority of people who call themselves Catholic, who are champions of abortion, who lie about the Catholic Church, who are activists on the far secular left. Those people are a real, real problem. I do not see any indication that Sonia Sotomayor is of that ill. Part of that is because she hasn't had to rule directly on the constitutionality of abortion. But in one of the close cases, she sided with anti-abortionists. It dealt with the Mexico City policy, which prevented U.S. aid to other countries from being used to counsel for or provide abortions. In 2002, she wrote, The Supreme Court has made it clear that the government is free to favor the anti-abortion position over the pro-choice position and can do so with public funds. That has led some to quietly lean toward Judge Sotomayor because while she may not be a conservative, they feel she may be more right-leaning than the other potential nominees. Be careful what you wish for. In the event that the Republicans try to savage her and they win, they're waiting in the wings are people which would make her look like Ronald Reagan. Justice is supposed to be blind. Judges' personal beliefs shouldn't matter because it's the court's job to uphold the Constitution, not change it. It's the elected members of Congress who are charged with changing policy. But statements from both President Obama and Judge Sotomayor have some wondering if the two favor judges legislating from the bench. Sotomayor told a group of law students judges essentially make laws. Court of Appeals is where policy is made. And I know, and I know this is on tape, and I should never say that because we don't make law, I know. Um, uh, okay. To call her a judicial activist is uh, probably not fair to judicial activists. I mean, she believes that the role of the Court of Appeals is to legislate from the bench, to create social policy. She's supposed to be as a judge and umpire. Remember, John Roberts in his confirmation said, I'm going to call him as I see him. She's coming in basically as a cheerleader for one of the sides. That's not the role of the judge. President Obama also raised eyebrows when stating he wants a judge whose emotions come into play. You have to be able to stand in somebody else's shoes uh, and, and see through their eyes and get a sense of how the law might uh, work or not work. This despite language in the judicial oath stating they are to administer justice without respect to persons and do equal right to the poor and the rich. If confirmed, Judge Sotomayor will join five other Catholics on the high court, but observers are waiting to see whether sharing the same religion will have any influence on social issues such as abortion or even the propriety of letting their personal views affect their rulings. Lori Johnson, CBN News.